What's up guys? Intense Investor here coming at you again Sunday night. Wanted to do a little video on this new uh, token, deflationary token known as Safe Moon. It's sort of like Hoge in a way but there's a lot of people getting in it. They're getting in it fast. Now is a great time to get into it and buy you a bag. Uh, I mean it's literally got like six or seven zeros behind the decimal. If you can just get a couple of those uh, to move up for you, you're going to be left with a nice little profit. But I have seen some issues where people said that they had problems swapping it on PancakeSwap. Uh, I just wanted to go over exactly what the BEP2 and BEP20 tokens are on uh, Binance. And... PancakeSwap only uses BEP20, which is the Binance Smart Chain token. If you're like me and you're an American citizen and you're using Binance US, any uh, BNB is going to be BEP2. Um, it's not BEP20. So you got to convert that to be able to use or be able to swap your uh, BNB Binance coin on uh, PancakeSwap because that uses Binance Smart Chain. Um, now, if it's another Binance Smart Chain token, it's going to be on the BEP20 um, yeah, Binance Smart Chain. So let's look at this uh, Binance.com. They tell you right here, BEP2 represents a token standard on Binance Chain, while BEP20 represents a token standard on Binance Smart Chain. Um, so you need to make sure that you know you got a way to swap that and what I do is I use the trust wallet um, I basically send the BNB uh, Binance coin in its BEP2 form that's this one BEP2 if you withdraw and you're in the US uh, you're using Binance US when you withdraw it's gonna be a BEP2 uh, coin um, so you got to convert that to BEP20 to be able to use it on PancakeSwap to be able to swap that to SafeMoon. Um, so let's uh, let's take a look at that real quick and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Alright, so here we are on TrustWallet.com website. That's TrustWallet.com. Uh, you'll see this is where you can download the TrustWallet app. You can get it on uh, Apple Store. Google Play, or you can download it as a Android APK uh, 6. Um, it's not for Windows, so you need the app. That's why I had to take some screenshots to actually show you what I'm talking about since I'm recording this on my desktop computer. But um, get on the app store on your phone. Uh, make sure you don't download like a scam app or something. Um, you'll, you'll see like a lot of good reviews probably. Um, if it's not a scam, if it is a scam, there's probably not going to be many reviews, or if they are, it's fake. So just be on the lookout for that when you download this app to your phone. There's always scammers trying to make money off of people that are just trying to do the right thing, you know. Um, <clears throat> but anyway, I'm going to pull up these screenshots of what I did when I sent uh, from Binance US to my phone um, and kind of walk through that a little bit. <clears throat> All right, guys, so you know how I was talking about the regular Binance uh, BEP2? Well, that is this first one right here. So, like, if I sent uh, my BNB to Trust Wallet, I would send it to this address, and you'd want to click Receive. Uh, you'd copy that address. I'm not going to show you my address, but you would copy the Receive address for BNB into your binance.us uh, uh, withdrawal. I'm going to pull that up so you can see what I'm talking about. Alright guys, so here we are in my Binance account. Um, you're going to want to go to withdraw up here, your wallet. This is if you already use Binance US. If not, you need to sign up. I got a link in the signature if you want to, but you are going to have to go through KYC so it might take you a little bit, um, you know, before they approve it. They're usually kind of slow. So anyway, go to wallet, go to uh, withdraw. 
Um, I would click BNB. Uh, I've done with Drew all I got at the moment, but for the recipient's address, that's where you would want to put your uh, trust wallet BNB address. And see, it tells you BEP2 network. You can't withdraw in BEP20 if you're in the US. Only if you're using original Binance can you withdraw in BEP20. So that's why people in the US, they got to do another conversion there, unless you got another way. Um, so I'm going to copy this uh, receive address from my trust wallet into recipients BNB address. And then I'm going to put the amount, you know, which you whatever amount you want to put in there um, then you're going to hit submit and then you're going to put in a uh, google uh, 2fa two-factor whatever you got security wise set up um, but after that you'll see that appear right here in the bnb in your trust wallet but you still got to convert this to the smart chain so you're going to want to go whatever amount you got in here in your BNB uh, like if you want 100% of that to swap uh, you need to just take a little bit off for the fee which is it's really small on Binance uh, chain the fees are compared to like Ethereum uh, the fees are so much better it's like a dollar or something or not even a dollar you know to swap a couple hundred dollars but uh, I usually just uh, I mean you can 75% of your total 50% whatever you want to do okay so I think you get the gist that BNB what I just got or what I just showed you is BEP2 and you got to have it in BEP20 so BNB whatever you receive is BEP2 you got to swap it to the smart chain trust wallet is really good at doing that because you can do it like right here um, just hit this uh, DEX on the bottom I forgot to tell you that uh, that's your decentralized exchange click that and then it'll bring you to this page then you put whatever amount you want in BNB to swap it to the Binance Smart Chain. Now, once you've swapped it, it's ready to go uh, be swapped at Pancake Swap. So you want to click on this uh, decentralized apps down here, and you'll see Pancake Swap. So you click on that, and then it's going to take you to the PancakeSwap.finance, and this is all within the trust uh, trust wallet app. You can do it all in there. Uh, so when you're in there, it's going to connect already, right, to your wallet, and it's going to show your BNB uh, 20, which is already on the Binance Smart Chain because we just swapped it. Uh, I'm probably going to do max. Um, when you select a currency here, you're going to want to put in Safe Moon address, the contract address, which I'm going to post that in the description. Um, to make sure you get the correct contract address. There is a fake one out there, so I don't want you to get scammed. Um, and it'll tell you, you know, how many safe moon that you got. Um, I mean, I got about 16 billion right now, so it's a pretty good little bag. You know, it's about a thousand dollars worth. Uh, I'm taking a gamble on it. You know, I got some good feelings that it's going to go up. It's going to moon. If it does anything like Hoge did, it's going to take off. Uh, it's a deflationary token every transaction I think 5% gets burned uh, there's a lot of tokens that are that start on the startup here um, but they're getting burned off quickly and the more get burned off the price of the tokens going to increase so you know you're at it you're in this at a good time take advantage of it so um, once you add that safe moon uh, contract address which I'm going to put in the description you'll add it and then you're going to go back to that swap, that swap screen and make sure your slippage is 11%. Uh, your safe moon will actually show up here and uh, you're going to be able to swap those two out. And, uh, you know, that's all there is to it. And then it'll show up. It'll show up back here in your total. See where mine's showing up? It'll show up right there after you've swapped the BEP20 smart chain BNB for the uh, safe moon. And that's pretty much all there is to doing it. Um, that's where you got to set the slippage to 11%, like I was just talking about. Um, that's pretty much it with that. But, uh, you know, it, I also use KuCoin. 
which you could use KuCoin, uh, which doesn't require KYC. I'll also put a link in the description, uh, my affiliate link, if you like to use it. Um, and I'll also go over that real briefly on how you would need to, uh, say, like USDT. You could swap that to BNB. You can also do it on Binance US. You could send your USDT to Binance, or you could send it to KuCoin, or anywhere that can swap to BNB. But that BNB is more than likely going to be BEP2 BNB. So uh, you need to verify that before you send it to Trust Wallet. Um, but uh, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much the gist of it. Um, you know, I think Binance probably will require you to use uh, a, K a KYC, and that might take some time to get set up. If you're not already a member of Binance or Binance US, but if you are, it's pretty easy and pretty quick. You can do it just like I just showed you. So not really too hard or complicated.